<laughs> students. <laughs> Sorry, we can wait. No. We can wait, it is four minutes. Maybe somebody is looking for a car park. Yeah. I know, I know. <laughs> Lucky bastards. Uh, yeah, obviously, Sadio Mane has been named in the next Senegal squad. Coach Ali Cisse says he will be 100% fit. What is the reality? I don't know how he can, <laughs> but um, I don't know. So that's how it is. Sadio is, um, yeah, still in, in rehab. That's how it is. He's um, indoor. He was not even on the, no, for any exercises outside. So that's the situation at the moment. And um, so <laughs> if he's fit earlier, I would be. I would be really happy, but um, nobody knows in this moment, so nothing else to say about. They have very important games, eh? so or at least one. They need, I think, Senegal needs one point from two games. Is it right? Not sure, but they need one point, um, I think, and um, so that's up there to be qualified for the World Cup. So I can imagine that it's very. Uh, they um, feel the pressure a little bit, but um, yes. We cannot change the situation, and we cannot change the situation. If if Sadio is fit, we cannot hide it. Why should we do it? So if he's fit, I think we can do nothing to keep him here. Then um, he would go to the to the national team of Senegal. That's clear. But in this moment, I don't know. Another big game this weekend. Four points the difference between the two sides. How do you feel going back to Wembley, where you also have a little bit of history? <laughs> I never played against Tottenham at Wembley, so maybe that's um, that, that's another thing. I so um, I think what I can say: How often did we play there? Did I play there two times? Or two times. One? Yeah, both times. Last year, Fred, you played against Barcelona in pre-season friendly as well. Oh, thank you very much. I thought really I lost all the games there. So, um, but I can say that the performance was always really good. So in the Champions League final, the performance was really good. Everybody who saw it, I think, um, yeah. Knows that and um, one cup final city, yeah, was unlucky in a, in a penalty shoot at the end. So that's, that's how things can happen. But we don't feel bad when we see Wembley or something. It's uh, it's a good place, a wonderful stadium. So and we never played against Tottenham there. So it's nothing really. Um, what we are thinking about, it's just um, we only think about the game against Tottenham and not where we play. Looking at your back line, at home it's just one goal conceded in the Premier League this season. You've kept back to back clean sheets for the first time this season as well in all competitions. Uh, is the defence effectively getting over the criticism that they've received? It will never happen in Liverpool. Well, I'm, I'm pretty sure now after two years I can say it will never happen. Yeah, because we concede one goal and it's um, always one player um, who is then not good enough or whatever that makes uh, for me absolutely made never sense for me to be honest but it's it's like it is and from from the the goals we conceded away everyone knows three of the first day match day that's that's so long ago i can't even really remember um and five against city and if you then blame him in a game with 10 with one man down against city the the defense because i think you talk about the last line uh, so then it makes no sense um, at all and um, so yes we know we have to improve we improved in the last two games I said it after the last uh, after Maribor and already after United um, that we were much better and much smarter in protection um, to protect our own offensive situations it will be a different game against Tottenham so we don't have to talk too much about this but um, in these two games, when it was similar, what we had to do, the most important thing is to avoid counter-attacks, and we did that pretty well as a team. Um, and I said it, uh, at Maribor, the, yes, we scored seven goals, but the best thing in the whole game was our counter-pressing. It was outstanding, and um, that will, would help in each game. And when we do this, it's always easier for the last line, and um, so that's what we have to, to do in the next few games too. Jürgen, there's a lot of talk about that seven-goal win being a, a catalyst for your 
Premier League form. Have you been able to detect all week around the training ground just signs that everybody's just got that little bit more confidence? No, not so far because we had um, one session and yesterday I gave the boys a day off. But it makes sense. We don't have, uh, especially the international players, don't have a lot of days off. So um, we will start again today. Um, had a few little issues after the game. So a few players couldn't have um, couldn't have been part of training anyway. So um, it was uh, made sense that we make this day off yesterday. So, but I don't have to need to have a look on this. So I know that it, of course, it helps um, you, um, but it's not enough. It's not that it. Um, it's the only thing we missed in the last few games or whatever. Yes, it was. It was always clear. That it can happen at one day, and um, it's not nice to be then the opponent in that day when we when we um, really finish all the situation which we create and it was on this day Maribor and um, when we made the analyze to be honest of Maribor have a really strong side and you will see this in other games they were much closer um, and as played against Sevilla but top team from Spain they were really good in defending all that stuff but we were not really to defend on that day so that was were really good and we have to take this and with all the things I said before that we have to stay confident because of good reasons um, it makes it easier now of course but confidence alone again is not enough to to, to get a result at Tottenham but um, it's something what can help of course James Milner came back and did very well in midfield has he given you a little selection problem this weekend because he'll be wanting to play won't he? yeah of course uh, no, no problem. Um, I was not never in doubt about Millie. So there's not nothing new about this. Yes, he. I, I'm really happy for him that he that he performed that well. Um, like all the others, thank God. Um, but that's uh, the situation we wanted to have. That's the situation we need. We need to have that we have more highest quality players than eleven. So we we play now. Meanwhile. Uh, without uh, Nathaniel Klein, without Sadio Mane, without Adam Lalana, and the best thing is that we still have uh, more players than we can than we can use with the first whistle. So um, that's all. And yes, I, I respect Millie a lot. And he's a very, very important player for us on the pitch and off the pitch. So, um, but no, no, no problems with that. Good. He came in for Jordan. Would you come back in? I don't say I don't. I never speak about the lineup, but it's um, Jordan is our skipper, and I, th I thought really it made, made sense again. I, I told John played so far pretty much all the games. I'm not 100 percent sure. Maybe apart from Leicester and the Carabao Cup, I'm not sure. But um, he had both international games with England, 90 minutes. I was very happy about this, but um, so and then played the next game again against United, which is a very very intense game for a, defend, a defensive midfield player. And so it was up, was clear that we will make one change in this game, and man, that was in this moment now uh, Jordan. But that's all. Thank you. Yeah. Um, Jürgen, I know you get asked about Mansala a lot, and um, another bit really impact that he's made this week. But your assessment over the last three months that he's had because. When players come to clubs, it takes time to settle and develop. But he's made a real impact here. Why do you think that is? Why is he settled so far? Well, his quality. That's no. There's no doubt about it. I think he, he needed half an hour at Watford. Roundabout. That. That's it. And Watford, the first few challenges, it looked like um, he's not heavy enough. I'm not sure. Strong enough. Whatever for these challenges in the in the league, and can be can be difficult. And from this moment on. It, he was he was in the league, and that's that's uh, most important. And uh, it was a fantastic job of the of the scouting department. It's not that um, that I didn't know Mo Salah. Of course, everybody knew him, and I, I knew him since he was at Basel. Um, but to see the difference, um, or to see his development in, in different things, um, and to we all together may have then to make the judgment. Is how can we compare the Italian league with the English Premier League and stuff like this? And all the rest is Mo Salah, so he's a fantastic boy. Um, and always it helps if you settle as a person very quickly. It helps you settling as a player. And um, I didn't, I don't think he needed even half an hour to settle in the team. So um, that was 
from the first day, fantastic, and hopefully he can stay fit, what would be very important for us, because he's the other one. Um, okay, Egypt is, is qualified meanwhile, but I don't think that I um, give him a lot of rest there. Um, he's the man in Egypt, so uh, it's, it's like, like uh, Sadio in, in Senegal. So that's always, uh, I'm always a little bit afraid when they are away different pitches, long trips, long travels and stuff like this. So that, but so far it went well and hopefully it stays like this. Okay. Mike? Yeah, you spoke in midweek not just about being impressed by the, the goal <coughs> return against Maribor, but the fact that the counter-pressing had returned to, to the standards that, that, that you, you look for. Do you think that the players have almost relearned what, what, what you want from them now? <laughs> So after all the things we 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 maybe made our analyse of the last few games, um, and you saw all the good things we did, but at the end it didn't lead to the result we wanted. And when you then, or not you specific, but um, when when you ask me uh, after game, uh, what can we do that we score stuff like this? We cannot change the the, the situations we had. We only have can have more. And easier, and e it could be easier if you win the ball back, and more situations than we did in the last few games. So earlier in, through counter pressing, and um, uh, because it um, it keeps you in a much better position on the pitch, uh, it's kind of energy saving because you don't have to run long distance with the whole squad nearly, um, and that's all. And so I was very happy about this. Am I am I 100% sure that we will do it again? Um, not so far, but I'm open for the proof because I really think um, that uh, will be uh, a big key again against Tottenham, which is a fantastic football team and um, a football playing top team of the league. And um, so it would help a lot. But um, we will see. And that's nice. And Tottenham, you look at their attacking threat with, with Harry Kane, who's one of the, the best strikers in Europe now. Gary Alley, maybe not to the standard so far this season that we know he can produce, but, but Ericsson, but really potent from you know, at the top end of the pitch. But, but by and large, when you've played against them, you, you've managed to, to neutralise their threat. Yeah, we played. We played so far well. It's a that's a nice football game. I think every supporter can can looking forward to it. We don't um, we don't hesitate. Both both teams don't hesitate eh? with um, any effort, any investment, stuff like this. We are uh, both teams are always spot on. Wants to do best. Um, so far, Tottenham did a little bit better than we did result-wise, but I'm sure they can play better than they played so far. We can still play better than we played so far, so I think that's really an interesting game. And um, so far we did well, but that's all, nothing else. Um, and that's a fantastic development since since I'm in England. They were already good when I came in. Um, and, um, I think Pochettino was already a year there or two, or two or I'm not sure, but um, it was for sure um, one year there. And so that was, you could already see um, what they are, what they can achieve in the in the future. So far, no, apart from Walker this year, um, nobody left the club of the decisive players. That's a that's a big big job what they did so far, and um, that will be a big challenge for them in the next few years because. Um, Harry is not only one of the best strikers in Europe, he's one of the best strikers in the world, 100%. Everybody knows that, and Deli Ali as well, and Ericsson as well, because they're not striker but midfielder. So they are um, in a really good moment um, as, a, as a club, and um, we have to, we are the challenger when we go there, and that's how it is. But um, I, I, they know that it will not be an easy game. So, good, let's play, let's see. Uh, what happened? So I'm I'm really looking forward to this game because these are the you don't have a lot of these games where both teams are going for everything. That's a little bit that's always against City like this, um, and um, against Tottenham is like this, and that's that's it pretty much. And um, good. Last weekend you succeeded in keeping one informed striker quiet in the car this weekend, you've got to face a moving forward track with Harry Kane. Is it a different sort of prospect trying to keep? 
I don't have, don't have to judge these two. They're both fantastic, fantastic strikers. I think the only thing, the little, the, the difference is um, that Harry is much more a part of the game when he's not scoring. So that's it. But um, I'm, I'm pretty sure that um, Lukaku can make these steps still. So it's um, he's a, he's pretty much not to defend. If we, if we give him the balls, he's not to defend. We, we avoided just the balls to Lukaku, I would say, and that must be a key against Harry again uh, as well. And um, that's that's it. And um, but you are, if you are to concentrate on on one player, then um, yeah, Deli Ali. Is everywhere in the box, around the box, and Ericsson shoots from everywhere or, or plays decisive passes. So, or they have a um, wonderful, skilled boy with wings, um, obviously um, on a very good way. And um, so, it's it's a good team. You cannot be concentrated only on on, on one player. And a, a few nice examples, if you, um, Davis is for me a perfect example. Um, I think. Especially because Rose was there, nobody thought, oh, will, will really Davis play that much at the beginning?" As I saw it, he struggled in the one, one, two moments, but they, they, they stayed cool with him, and he made big steps. It's a fantastic player, and he was probably before. I didn't know him that good before, but since he's there, he made big steps. And um, so, if you stay cool, if you um, stay full of trust and faith with players you are convinced about, then time can bring big, big things, and that's one example. On a different topic, it's confirmed to speak that the Arsenal game will be forward, not put back. Any thoughts on that? We've got quite a lot about it at the time of the issue. I don't think I spoke a lot about it. I said uh, here in this press conference because you asked me uh, what I think about it, and um, I'm, I'm, to be honest, I don't know when it happened last time that somebody could take something but didn't take it. Because of common sense, I don't know. So, phew, Sky, thank you. I, I, I don't know when I heard it last. Usually, you, I can get it, so I take it. Boop. That's how it is. That's how the world looks a little bit in this moment. And um, so, it's a. I, I thought it's a very, very uh, good decision, especially for the fans. That's number one uh, because it's still difficult. We will do everything from the club side that we can bring our fans down Friday night, right? Friday night at least back from London, what could be obviously a little bit difficult. Um, and, but it's, it's a very good sign, very good sign. I love these signs because I said a few times, um, um, all the contracts, we respect all the contracts um, the Premier League or the clubs signed, but um, it's still the players who decide how nice the product, how nice the, the thing is, how nice the game is, and uh, when, they are, when they never can rest, then it's a problem. So, but if they, they, we cannot now more rest, we only have one day football off in the year, and I think that should be okay for most of the people. Glad, anything from you? No, no, no. anything from you? Okay, guys, room one for the dailies, and then if the Sundays can come in, happen. So. You have two rooms. Two rooms. One room.